All right, guys, so here it goes. Last project of the course. I um, was gonna, I couldn't decide what to do. You know, it was like one of those things where I felt like I needed to close a video of us doing something together. So I thought this would be a really fun project. If I could get this gel medium to open, <laughs> it'd be even better. Oh my gosh, you guys myself up. You should see the expressions I'm making on my face. There it is. Okay. I probably had the gorilla face going on. Okay, so this is just a fun little project that I saw probably on Pinterest or something like that. And I just thought it'd be a fun thing to share because you guys can make these as little gifts, um, come up with some kind of word or something. But what you're going to need for this project is your gel medium, bunch of scrapbook paper fun just random and you could even use fabric I might even stick a piece of fabric in there and a pair of scissors a yucky brush that you don't mind getting a lot of gel medium on and then these are vinyl stickers okay and I actually just went to Michael's to get vinyl stickers because I really wanted mine to be a little bigger for this project and um I realized there's such a thing as permanent vinyl stickers and removable. I'm hoping these are removable because that may have been why I messed my project up last time. So anyways, look for these vinyl stickers. They're always going to be where more of the draftsman supplies are in, the, in your local craft store. Hobby Lobby has a better selection by far than Michael's, which happens to be where I was tonight. So I'm just going to use these old ones I had. Michael's, the only repositional ones they had were like three inches, which is gigantic. Now, why these versus just scrapbook stickers? Well, scrapbook stickers that are like an alphabet, because this is an alphabet. You probably can't tell that on the video because it's black, but um, you can see this A probably. But scrapbook stickers, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but a lot of times they'll have a white ring around them or... They're just not as defined. These vinyl stickers tend to be a little more defined. And when you see what we're doing with it, you're going to understand why. Oh, uh, that's why we need the vinyl stickers. So, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is collage our board. And this is a tiny board because these are tiny letters. And I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm not really going to worry about... Because uh, I'm going to actually be covering up a ton of it. So it's probably a good idea to use up some of those scraps you had that you're like, oh, I need to get rid of these scraps because I've got all these little pieces and parts. What am I going to do with it? This is the project for that. It is. It is. It is. It is. So. Anyways, and I cannot believe I did that with the video today. Yesterday, rather. It's hilarious. I mean, my son was with me last night. He wanted to watch... Um, something on TV with me and I was like no 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 I have to finish this turn them <laughs> mute that TV mute the TV and I got it all ready and I said all right I'm ready for whatever we were watching I think we were watching there's this new show called the lottery that's what we were watching it's on lifetime and oh gosh it is good it is about basically there's no woman has had, there's been no babies born in years. And so they think they found a cure, but they're trying to find the link, the common link between them. It's, I don't know, it's just good. My son likes it too. He likes to watch shows with me. My husband doesn't like to watch shows with me, unfortunately. We are not on the same page when it comes to shows. I watch... And we don't watch that much TV, but we, the kids and I love stuff like Project Runway. We love anything on HGTV. And, and we're really, we're kind of liking this lottery show on, it's Lifetime. That's who has it. Okay, so this is a fun pile of stuff here. Look, and I just cut that up real quick. Okay. So it really doesn't matter what you put where. You're all like, oh my God, what is Jenny showing us? I'm showing you something different, totally different. Honestly, I've never had a successful one of these. 
So if this one is successful, I'm going to be real excited. <laughs> uh. So anyways, we did have a fabulous time at the beach. My husband really didn't want to come home. So we stayed a little longer than we were supposed to. Thus, while I was frantically putting your last blog post up last night, it's not like me to wait to the last minute, but I thought I was going to be home earlier in the week than we really were. And I wanted the last video, I mean the last post to come from like, I don't know, to really be the last post and be not predated. and Because I have had to predate most of the posts just so that they, they come up the right way. This is fun. It's kind of looking like a giant quilt. Love quilts. I have a bunch of family quilts in our home that were made by my dad's godmother, Reba. I have a lot of her quilts. They're just folded up in my bonus room upstairs because I'm afraid to put them on any beds. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's what the, you know, that's what people used them for, but now I'm afraid to use them. This is totally looking like a quilt. I'm not going to want to cover any of this up because it's too cute. And I'm already running out of paper. to be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Put that there. It's drying very quickly. I should be putting it on the back of the paper too, but I'm not. Just not going to worry about it. There we go. Put that there. So when we go to the beach, I haven't told you where we went, we always go to St. Simons Island, Georgia. We are Georgia people, I guess, now, which is funny because I'm from Alabama. Never thought in a million years I'd be a Georgia girl. But St. Simons is so quaint and so small. There's some parts of the beach where literally they don't have beach because the tide comes in so so much. It comes all the way to the rocks. But we try to stay down where there's beach all day long. But every day it's different. I mean, the beach looks different every day. It is so cool because one day you'll have tide pools, you know, in one area. And the next day they're in a different area. So it's really fun to stay there. We've been going there for about 10 years now. And there's this house that I want so bad, and it has been for sale. I started running, I guess, three or four years ago, and that's when I found the house. I mean, it is. Billy and I talk about how it is our little yellow house by the sea, and it is little. It is, um, it's just not very big, but it is, let's see, maybe it's like, 1,800 square feet or so, but it's an insane amount of money because of where it is. And supposedly it's an original Bruce cottage, um, Bruce being the drive that it's it's located on. I've got to use fabric. So that's why it's so expensive, but I told Billy, it's just waiting for us. The house is waiting for us. It's just precious, the house is. So, you know, we ran by it. He ran with me the first day, and we were, that first thing I did was go towards it. I wanted to see if my house was for sale, and it was. It is, oh, look at that, it's not sticking. So one day, maybe I'll own oh, my yellow house by the sea. But like I was saying, okay, so St. Simon's Island, the water is just not very pretty. I mean, you know, all my friends 
go to Panama City Beach and they go to Destin and all these fancy places and their beaches are so much prettier than ours. The water, the beaches, the water is so much prettier. And <laughs> but I just I can't imagine going anywhere else to the beach. We just love our St. Simons. So if you have an opportunity, I'm plugging St. Simons and like there's no high rises. Like you're not allowed to build anything over four stories. So everything is just so quaint and you can ride your bike everywhere you go and I don't know. One day I'm gonna live there. I just am. Alright, so I'm gonna blow dry this real quick to expedite the drying process. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I, that I'm using to blow dry this. This is actually a professional heat gun that I bought for my encaustic painting. It gets insanely hot. Um, you probably don't really need something this powerful. That's why I keep touching it because it is so blooming hot. And now I'm going to have to let this cool down because I've put so much heat on it. Okay, so I need this to cool down a little bit more before I'm able to attach this. But basically what I'm going to now do, and I found a bigger set of stickers. I'm hoping that I have all the letters here. But that would just stink if I didn't have all the letters. But again, these are vinyl stickers and I think that they are used for more like putting on your mailbox or putting on your door they had some cute cute fonts at Michael's and I was like oh that'd be so cute I could put a word on my door but um anyways I didn't really like the font I like I am a typewriter font person I don't know why I think it's that nostalgia of the typewriter so, I am going to start with my middle word, and I'm not like big on being exact, but I am going to figure out the middle. Let's see. So, the A needs to be in the middle. Okay. If I can get these letters to come off. It's so, they're peculiar, these letters are. Okay. Dreamer. So I start school back next week and my daughter and I worked in my room a little bit this afternoon just trying to get ahead of the game and I had an epiphany after an art, a teacher friend came by to show me what she was doing to her door, outside her door. I was like, you know, I have been teaching here. <gasps> There's no more R's. Oh no! Oh, here's an R. Oh, but I'm going to need it for the other ones too. You know what? It'd be kind of cute to do it with these random letters. I've been teaching at this particular school for four years, and I have never put the effort in to make a cute door. So this year, oh, I'm liking this. I am making a cute door. Yep, I bought a tension rod, two tension rods, and a Stick it to my finger. A, what did I get? Oh, a shower curtain. The cutest shower curtain at Target ever. And I'm going to make like a, an awning. And then I bought these little window boxes to put in my, and I bought pinwheels. Although Maylee and I both decided, I think I'm going to make flowers that are shaped out of I think I'm gonna glue, make like pencil flowers and make like marker top flowers, something art, a little more arty. Do you know what I'm spelling? Probably do. Um, Dreamer, Dreamer, Dreamer is the M is being difficult. Okay, let's. I think I should do an E, a lower E too. I like this. Oh, seriously, there's no more E. Oh, here's an E. I guess most people don't. Um, I'll use a little R too. Da, da, da. 
Okay. Ooh, that is so crooked. That is just not going to even work. I'm all out. But anyways, we got our, my two bulletin boards done. Oh my God, they're so cute. The one outside my room, and I'll probably post it on Instagram. I did um, a giant sun because my beginning of the year theme is how do you let your light shine? And I'm gonna have the kids do self portraits and talk around their self portraits because I love to incorporate writing and portraits, especially at the beginning of the year when they're all so, oh, we're back at school and so excited and have them talk about what makes them shine. I mean, what's special about them? What makes them unique? And so I'll have 400 portraits to hang up for open house, which is always a good thing. Parents love that kind of stuff, I'm telling you. So we'll do that, and then we're gonna do projects like um, fireflies and mason jars. And they are gonna be so awesome. Boy, I need a lot of R's in this project. Um, and let's see what else. The different things that let their light shine. So I was thinking the sun, and I was thinking the fireflies, and then I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do. So think about light, fire, I don't know. Light shine. I'll come up with something else. Anyways, those are the two projects I know. And I tend to cluster teach because I have so many lesson plans to create in a day and it makes my head explode. So I cluster fourth and fifth, second and third, and first grade gets their own projects. Because I see fourth grade, fifth grade, second grade, third grade, lunch, then first grade. So first grade always gets their kind of their own thing just because as a general rule, first graders have like no skills anymore. Ugh. I'm sure if you gave them a freaking iPhone, they could do whatever on it, but give them a pair of scissors and they're like, oh, I don't know how to use them, you know, just, oh, it's insane. It takes me the whole first half of the year to get like, get them over their whole, just basic hand skills. It's insane. I mean, to parents, you do know that scissors and Play-Doh are cheaper than an iPod, right? Yeah. So I just encourage parents, please, please, please put a pair of scissors in your kid's hand before they come to school. And even just like watercolor sets. I mean, I was looking today because I was buying a bunch of stuff for my classroom. And you know, markers and glue, I spent $45, okay? And I bought 15 packs of markers, 30 bottles of glue, two packs of 24 glue sticks each. And what else did I buy? Oh, erasers. Yeah. <laughs> I bought, I cleared Target out of their erasers. Um, and $45, y'all. That's all I spent. And how much is an iPod? Or your iPhone. Yeah. My sister, I have a little sister, and my nephew is the king of it. And he's from South Georgia, so he says it like this. Where's my iPad? Aunt Jenny, where's my iPad? <laughs> oh, I really should put him on tape for y'all. You would die. You would? You would die? I mean, I don't even have it. I do not have an accent compared to him. I mean, you guys would... It's so stinking cute because he is from Monroeville, Alabama. And if any of you are literature-ish people, you know that is a very famous town. So that is where Harper Lee is from, To Kill a Mockingbird. And Truman Capote spent many a summers there. And it is this tiny town. I mean, it is tinier than tiny. She lives in this gorgeous old farmhouse. Okay, this is so not centered, and to some of y'all, you're gonna like wig out because that is that is a little too far over. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. Um, I'm not normally this anal, but I gotta fix that. Yeah, but her she lives in this gorgeous old farmhouse, 
you know, it's got like 20 foot ceilings and the porch all the way around it. And my aunt's house, oh, my aunt's house is to die for. So anyways, my nephew is going to school for the first time this year and I'm very nervous for his mama and for him. <laughs> and bless that teacher's heart, anyways. He was a surprise child for the whole family. They didn't think they could have children. And then God decided, you know what? I'm going to give you one when you're 38 <laughs> and your husband's 40. So they're older parents. and But that is awesome. And they are, they are embracing this start of school. It's so cute. And then there's people like me with one start in high school. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for him. I mean, really guys, I am. I just, this, I don't know. I'm ready for Maley to be in high school. Middle school years, although I love teaching middle school. That was my favorite teaching I ever did. I would go back to middle school in a heartbeat. It was just tough. You know, I, and, Instagram, I'll just tell you the story while I think it's tough. Today, Maylee helped me in the classroom and we ran errands and stuff. And yeah, okay, granted, we've been on vacation. But my friend that I'm about to talk about um, knew I was back from vacation because I had invited her daughter knowing, okay, she, she works from home. And I knew that they weren't going to their regular camp thing this week. So last night I emailed her and I said, or texted her and I said, hey, does Maddie want to come and help us set my room up tomorrow? No, thank you though. That's sweet of you to offer. I guess she forgot that I'm friends with her daughter and all my daughter's friends on Facebook because it appears they had a back to school swimming party today. And mainly wasn't on the list. So I had been in the biggest funk all night because because <laughs> I was mad because I'm like, okay, you knew I was home and why would you not invite her? I mean, middle, I'm telling you, middle school is tough and it just is. And you know, there were a lot of, like, Maylee hadn't even seen it because Maylee, Maylee doesn't even bother with Instagram. Okay, yes, wait a minute. Okay, before I tell you the rest of the story and you're going to start crying too. Um, actually, yeah, I'm not crying. I'm just pissed. I am painting over the letters. I'm painting over these letters here. And I do want to leave some of this scrapbook paper so I'll have some of this fun. This is going to be so cute. You guys are going to be like, ah, Jenny, you're such a genius. But I'm not really the genius. I don't, I, I really can't even give credit um, in my little book. Um, let's see, Show Your Work. He talks about how don't share it if you can't, if you can't tell where you got it from. Don't share it. Well, uh, too bad. I'm sharing it anyways. But you guys probably could have figured this out too if you just tried hard enough. But anyway, so anyways, my heart was a little broken for Maylee, and she doesn't even know. She didn't even know that all those girls. And the sad thing is, they're like I don't know, a five-minute walk. They're at, so they posted the picture. They posted all these pictures, of course, at the party, the little back-to-school party at this pool. And I, I know exactly where they are. They're literally down the street. So, and Maylee's one of those people, she's like, she's so funny. She's like, oh, mom, so what? Me, on the other hand, I get all, like, stressed out. I don't mean to, but I just do, because you hurt for your kids. And I want to know that, why that mama lied to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to gonna dry this a minute, so hang on. Okay. I'm gonna put a little more on this. So actually, right now, Maylee is in her happy, happy place. I, she, okay. So Maylee is obsessed with makeup. I have no idea why or when or how, because Lord knows I'm not. I mean, I slap on mascara because if I don't, there are no eyelashes present because I have blonde eyelashes and blonde eyebrows and blonde hair. Um. And she, I mean, she doesn't do like base or lipstick. She's just obsessed with eyes and she just, I don't know. She'll come down every day and I'm like, God, girl, how did you do that? I mean, she just, it's gorgeous what she does. 
I made her do me at the beach. Oh my gosh, you guys. I actually took a picture of one eyeball because I was like, oh, I look 20 years younger. <laughs> like, Bailey, oh my gosh, look what you did. So anyway, she's in our happy spot because I, we ran in TJ Maxx tonight and they had all these clear acrylic makeup holders. You know, like, you know, the little slots for like lipstick and things. Oh my gosh, she was so excited. I was like, pick them out because I am so sick of seeing the makeup everywhere. Because she has a lot of makeup, y'all. And I, uh, so she's in her happy place. She's organizing. She had so much fear because the, she start, started with fingernails. She loves to do fingernails, and she is so good at it. Oh, my gosh. She did this ombre one. It was just gorgeous. And then she took glitter, like the glitter from my studio. And so she had one ombre, and these were all glittered for the beach. They were gorgeous. Um, so, anyway, she has, you know, when you go in a nail salon, and they have those racks, those acrylic racks you hang on the wall with the 100 bottles of polish? She has one of those. It literally holds 120 bottles. She has 120 bottles. Now, I have to say, I was kind of a fingernail toenail polish freak, so some of them may be like, you know, 10 years old or more. But anyways, she loves that, that stuff. It's fun. I love that she has that kind of hobby. You know, she loves to do art, and she's more interested in that kind of thing than boys, and she's definitely more interested in that than being on Instagram and all. So it's, yeah, but I saw all those girls on Instagram and their little bikinis at the house, one block from my house, and I'm like, oh my God, why did she not get invited? So now it's like, oh my God, you know, my wrapping my brain around why she didn't get invited, and I'm certainly not going to say anything to her, because it'll just, it won't make her mad. I mean, she won't get, like, upset about not being invited. She'll get mad at me for being worried about it. Isn't that funny? Mom, it's, you know, who cares? I wanted to go shopping anyways. I mean, she always, I don't know, she's she's so funny. She is a glass half full girl. It's awesome. Yeah, Billy and I were talking about her the other night at the beach when they were hand fishing. If I had my cell phone down here, I'd show you the picture. Literally, they we would go out the beach at night and there would be all these little fish. I don't, know, I don't even know what you call them. Little fish. And they had their little cell phone flashlights and they would hand grab the fish and be like, Mom, don't you want to hold it? And I was like, no, not really. Um, uh, so anyways, they caught tons of these fish. Um, she'd rather do stuff like that than worry what her friends are doing. So that's good. Alright. So I'm going to dry this a little more. So hang on. Okay, so let's recap. First, I put the scrap of paper on the bottom, just chopped it up and, and gessoed it on. And then something I, I failed to mention, so you really need to make sure you put a good coat of the gel medium on top of the paper so that this will come off easier. And then I put the stickers down, making sure they were removable. <laughs> and then I painted the white, it's just white acrylic, Master's Touch. $6.99, baby. This big old tube. This stuff's kind of stinky, though. I'm just warning. If you're smell sensitive, it's stinky. And look, I put it in my cute. They had these at Michael's recently. Oh, you just, you have me at Little Dish. I mean, seriously. So cute. So Little Al's going to have to get a bath later. So I put the paint, brushed it on, dried it, put a second coat on. And I left the edge because I did want to be able to see more of the scrap of paper. Then a tool that you're going to need that I failed to mention that I'm going to have to go locate is some kind of um, sharp pokey tool. Um, don't you like that technical term? Smart, sharp pokey tool. Okay, so what I, like I said, I forgot to get a sharp pokey tool and <laughs> I should have an X-Acto knife, but I don't. So we're going to try this paper clip that I just opened up. We'll see if that works. So let's let the magic begin. You want to peel the stickers off. Careful not to. It would be much better if I had an X-Acto knife. I'm telling you. Ah! Careful not to do what I just did right there, which was peel up the white. See, it's a little gummy. I need to. I see. I'm not patient. If I was patient, that would be better. You have to be patient. 
I need to let it cool. I'm gonna let it cool. Because what's happening is it's sticking. So anyways, I hope that you guys have had a great time in the e-course. It's um, It has gone better than I ever imagined. I don't even know what I expected. I think I just didn't have expectations. I knew what I wanted to teach you and I did that. And then some. And then the other thing is I um, I just can't believe it's done. I mean, I can't believe I did it. I mean, I've been talking about it and wanting to do it for years and it's it's done and y'all y'all came and you took the class and I'm like, oh. I mean, you should have seen me every time my inbox had a PayPal in it. I was like, oh. They're coming, they're coming. But I do truly believe that that teaching is something that that it's a gift that was given to me and that it would be wasteful not to share it and wasteful not to use it. And I'm not trying to sound like, oh, Jenny, you think you're all that. But, you know, some people are just really good at certain things and some people are good at others. And, you know, I could never be a preacher and I could never be a kindergarten teacher. Heck no. But I'm really good at teaching art and perhaps it's because I'm that passionate about it. And I think that I love to share. And I like to share what I know. And I think that's what helps. I think that's what makes me a good teacher. It's not like I'm, I'm not doing this for the money. I, I mean, you know, the money's nice and all. But I'm, I think that's what makes it a little different for me is that, to me, it's about sharing and being part of something that's a little bigger than just my little bubble. And so that's what made it so effortless with the writing and the teaching, you guys. It was just, it was so nice. I mean, really. I spent so many hours on my back porch writing for you guys, talking to you. I felt like, you know, I don't know it was great. It was great, great, great. And I just can't wait to come up with an e-course part two. I'm like, what would I do? I taught you guys kind of all my tricks. I'm like, what am I going to teach you next? But I didn't teach you my my fake encaustic and I didn't teach encaustic which uh, encaustic I'm telling you guys is crazy expensive I mean you gotta you gotta be invest you gotta be willing to invest a moolah in encaustic but I have a fake encaustic technique I could share so maybe I'll do that um Anyways, I just, yeah, I just want to thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and being and showing up and for blessing our family this summer. Because you guys signed up, I was able to afford to, for us to go to the beach. I paid for our whole beach trip. <laughs> so I drank. I drank a lot of wine on, on your... Thank you. You bought me lots of wine. <laughs> My husband, he's a beer drinker when he goes to the beach. It's hilarious. He never, he doesn't drink ever. Um, except he never drinks unless we're at the beach. And that's kind of funny. So, do you see? Is that not the cutest thing ever? And then it looks like a little quilt. I just love it. So, I'm going to darken up the edges of this canvas a little bit. Make it look a little more finished off. Again, I'm just using that awesome Stabilo pencil. Sometimes I'll outline them. Actually, I've never had one of these be successful, so I'm so like lying. I've out, I would outline on, on other things. Because actually, I've done this technique in my painting, I guess I should say. Like, you know, instead of how I normally write with chalk, sometimes I've done this where I put the letters in and then peeled them off, especially in encaustic. I don't know, does it need the outline? I kind of like it. Maybe I'll just do a little bit with this. Ooh, yeah, look at that, y'all. Was that too messy? Ah, it's too messy. Okay. Baby wipes. Baby wipes take away all kinds of hurt. Oh, that's better. I don't know. You could 
like take a fine tip sharpie and go around this if you wanted to but really it doesn't bother me oh you know what i could use i haven't used yet for you guys these oh my gosh this is gonna drive me nuts okay i am like a manicurist nightmare <laughs> let's use these did you see how that made the little stitches oh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. If Maley were here, she'd say, the only thing that make it better, Mom, is glitter. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where my glitter is. She probably has all my glitter. So the edges, I like the edges like this. And as a little treat, this I am going to edit in my Photoshop and I'm going to send to you guys so that you guys can print it out at home. It is a square, so I will send it to you like... 12 by 12 and you can print it out oh actually okay I'll do 8 by 8 you should be able to do your normal 8 and a half by 11 printer and when you print it out just chop it up or if you my favorite photo place that I buy online is mpix.com I don't know if you guys use them or not or heard of them but that is who a photographer friend of mine told me to use it's mpix.com and if you upload it to there I know they do the square canvas so you could have a little gallery rack canvas done of this if you want or you can just print a print of it put it on your desktop I don't care it's my little freebie for you guys because this has been our little our little theme throughout the whole thing is artist dreamer doer so I hope that you guys will continue to be artist dreamers and doers Oh, I know what I need to do right here. You know, I have a little heart on everything I do. Let's do that. That's something, something, isn't it? A little something, something. I'm just not ready to say goodbye to y'all, so I just gotta keep adding. <gasps> oh, I know what I should add. All right, so. I think this is about done. I just, I just love it. Artist Dreamer Doer. I hope that's what you guys will continue to be from here on out and that I've inspired a little bit of something in you. Feel free to keep adding to the Flickr page. Feel free to keep emailing me. Um, I am always willing to answer your questions. Don't ever hesitate to feel like you can't ask me a question. And if you, and seriously, if you want me to give you open critique about your artwork, I don't mind that either. Um, you know, I might not get back to you right away because school does start for us next week. But I will. I will. Because I consider you guys all friends now. And I just think, just can't believe 30-something of you signed up for my art class. So it's just, it's humbling and it's exciting. And it's just, it's a blessing. I mean, I just feel very blessed right now that, that's just the word. I feel very blessed right now that I've been able to do this this summer. I've been able to do what I love, and it's really brought back to the forefront why I do what I do. Because sometimes I get really wrapped up in uh, being the elementary art teacher. Um, <laughs> I love what I do. I don't know why I let the pay get me so upset. So it's, it was really nice to do this this summer and to feel worthy and to feel um, a part of something bigger. So thank you so much for being a part of the journey and sharing your time with me and showing up and doing what I asked and I don't know, just I thank, I thank you so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing fall and I would love to meet all of you in person. So if you ever come to Atlanta, you better call me or at least email me. Let me know you're coming. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, thanks so much, and I hope to see you back again. Bye.